Taiki Mori, 37 years of age. Been competing at the Winter Paralympic Games since 2002. And that run at the Games has yielded four medals in total. Three silvers and a bronze. First time there to be set by Taiki Mori. Good speed here by the sitting athletes. The coordination absolutely phenomenal. It's an entirely different requirement when the, the direction and balance not controlled necessarily by uh, our feet on the ground. Direction comes from the upper body. Oh, and that's a, a fall from Taiki Mori. A shame, really. Here's Giant Slalom over, and he, he barely made it halfway down. So that's a shame, a DNF for our first runner down the hill, Taiki Mori. So there'll be no further Olympic medals, I'm afraid, in this event. The coming up, Marcus from Austria will come up and take a look at the long right there for the Loses his ski as well. This is the athlete that has been second in the giant slalom downhill and Super G, Turin, Vancouver and Sochi respectively, plus his bronze in the Super G in 2010 in Vancouver. We'll check if he's okay. But already a terrific game for him because he's racked up a, another silver in the downhill here in Pyeongchang. And he's being helped away from the course here. By Taiki Mori. A couple of uh, DNFs actually four years ago in Sochi in the super combined and the downhill. So getting himself ready to go next down to 62. Second down here though in the sitting category in the GS. Marcus Vatterhofer. Won the bronze in the world champs in the giant slalom last year. Well, Championships para alpine skiers held in Tarvizio in Italy. Batahovo, who's 26 years of age. Still waiting for the green light further down the hill. After that uh, tumble from Taiki Mori, who was first down here. So, Vatterhofer, second of 37. This really is a wide open discipline. Off goes Marcus Vatterhofer. Seventh in the super combined in Tarvizio, plus that bronze. Really singing the praises of the uh, Moleski, says it gives him enormous freedom. And, uh, much prefers it on the Moleski than in his wheelchair. And Marcus got to his vertebra during a, a motocross race back home in Austria in 2007. Had to recreate vertebrae from the hip bone, but it affected other functions. And that gives him a spinal cord impairment of LW10-1. Well, because Mori is unable to finish, it will be Vatterhofer's time. That will be our, our first marker here, and that will be the tester for the rest of the field to measure themselves against. Uh, a chance for Vatterhofer to throw down a decent time. Here he comes. This is the part of the course where you can start to see the grandstand. And the 
can start to really feel the atmosphere of the crowds. The tribunes well populated here at the Johnson venue. Marcus Vatterhofer tucks in for the finish in 1 10 7 5. There we go. Clouding over here in Pyeongchang. The Alpine Centre Greeks. Marcus Salkin out. Got a little sidewards through the flat section a moment ago. 0.25 the difference. Former overall World Cup winner Marcus Salka, 26 years of age. Born with hemoplegia, which affects the right side of his body. You'll notice the strain on his right leg and the inability to always be able to control it as he takes left hand turns. So 16, 26, job done from Marcus Salka. 0.61. He leads.